Imagine you were alive back in the 1980s and were told that computers would soon take over everything from shopping to dating and the stock market. That billions of people would be connected via a kind of web. That you would own a handheld device orders of magnitude more powerful than supercomputers. It would seem absurd, but then all of it happened. Science fiction became our reality and we don't even think about it. We're at a similar point today with genetic engineering. So let's talk about it. Where it came from, what we're doing right now, and about a recent breakthrough that will change how we live and what we perceive as normal forever. Humans have been engineering life for thousands of years. Through selective breeding, we strengthened useful traits in plants and animals. We became very good at this, but never truly understood how it works, until we discovered the code of life, deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, a complex molecule that guides the growth, development, function and reproduction of everything alive. Information is encoded in the structure of the molecule. Four nucleotides are paired and make up a code that carries instructions. Change the instructions and you change the being carrying it. Instructions. Change the instructions and you change the being carrying it. The first food modified in the lab went on sale in 1994. The Flavor Saver Tomato. A tomato given a much longer shelf life via an extra gene that suppressed the buildup of a rotting enzyme. But GM food and the controversy surrounding them deserve a video of their own. In the 1990s, there was also a brief foray into human engineering. To treat maternal infertility, babies were made that carried genetic information from three humans, making them the first humans ever to have three genetic parents. Today, there are super-muscled pigs, fast-growing salmon, featherless chickens, and see-through frogs. On the fun side, we made things glow in the dark. Fluorescent zebrafish are available for as little as $10. All of this is already very impressive, but until recently, gene editing was extremely expensive, complicated, and took a long time to do. This has now changed with a revolutionary new technology now entering the stage, CRISPR. Overnight, the costs of engineering have shrunk by 99%. Instead of a year, it takes a few weeks to conduct experiments, and basically everybody with a lab can do it. It's hard to get across how big a technical revolution CRISPR is. It literally has the potential to change humanity forever. It is. It literally has the potential to change humanity forever. 